This video is to show you how to build a power source for the ring doorbell if you don't have a doorbell. You'll need a transformer that steps down to, I think it's 18 volt or 24 volt transformer. You'll need two of these wire fasteners. You'll need a metal box, an extension cord, and some fasteners. This is like a staple uh, for to hold the wire. All of this is fairly inexpensive. Box here will cost you about three bucks. These little fasteners, they only cost you um, like 99 cents. These right here is about three bucks. This extension cord is seven bucks. And then I got this for free because I do HVAC, so I got this for free. Um, you might be able to shop around and find one of these. I don't know exactly where at the present time. I'll see if I can find a link for it. Might be able to get them on Amazon. This is how we do it. The first thing you're gonna need is you'll need to knock holes out, okay? So this box is what's gonna mount to the wall. Um, I'm gonna put one at the bottom and one on the side. They're fairly easy to knock out, but you can use about anything. But just be mindful of how you want the wire to go. If this is on the wall, I want it to come out of here to come down and on the other side, I want it to come out the side. So you just take anything really. Just get it started. Just get it started like this. And just twist it out. So that's the first knockout. Um, I think I'll go with that on the top. And go out the bottom. They're fairly easy to get out. And then your little wire fastener. Open it up a little bit, turn the screws. So your holes open and you can put it however you really want to because this is not electrical like up to code so this is just to hold the wire so you just stick it in there and spin that around tighten it up there we go and then do this one vice versa my power wire is going to go in here. So I got I got one of these because I thought it was super cool how it looks like old antique wire. That's the only reason why I bought it. But we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of that. We don't need that. I just thought it was cute looking. So, anyways, I don't need all of this wire, but I'm not going to cut it all off yet. So for right now, straighten it out a little bit, and we're just going to cut the end of it off. Well, there it goes. This all that is is just a cloth covering on it. That's all it is. Now I'm going to strip the wire a little bit. Let's get that cloth off of there. Let me get a little bit more on there. Pretty good strong wire or covering here. Get that casing over there. Just start split the wire. There's a groove down the middle. Just split the wire. And you can use a pair of wire cutters if you want to. It's up to you, it's your preference. Just strip the wire off. Get you some exposed wire. And then you want to run it up in there and then just tighten up your screws move it over so it doesn't get mashed too bad just like so and then your transformer is going to get wire netted Just like so, put wire net on. You need to mount the transformer. 
just I just want to do it real quick just to show you and then you tighten up your screws of course now you got a transformer box cool basically this gives you a 24 volt output for your ring doorbell so now you want to run a mount this on the wall you mount this on the wall anywhere so you can paint it black whatever you want to do with it and then you just plug it in the wall you got 24 volt you run your uh wire over for your transformer and i'll show you how i'm going to do it i'm going to put my box up here and i'm just going to mark where my my uh mounts are going to go what i'm going to use is just a couple of plain mollies screw in mollies with a couple of screws Pencil. What I like to do first is I'll run the screws in real quick. And that just kind of opens up the wall a little bit. See that one right there? That's got a stud in it, so I don't need a molly for that side. So we're gonna we'll put one molly in there. And then screw just like so just like so now what I've done on mine is because I live in an apartment and um, the old cover was gone and this is how it was so I mounted the doorbell on the other side ran the wire through the hole and I took this is thermostat wiring um, and I just ran it around a rod and made it into a pigtail so I can put it up here on this so this is just going to get stapled right to the door frame so what I want to do now now that my box is mounted to the wall I'm going to go ahead and connect my wires to the transformer Deal. Put the wire nuts on there. Make sure you're good and tight. Stuff the wires in the hole. And set it up there like that. Tighten your screws. There we go. That's all we have to do is to take the low voltage and connect it to here. Very simple process. Flathead screwdriver. So now you get the wires connected. You just need to pull this down and put a uh, fastener right there. So then you just take one of your little fasteners and mount it right there. Right there on the trim. If I can hold on to it. Oh my gosh. That way, when, when you open the door, this is not going to get all tangled up. And then, all I got to do is just take it down, plug it in. Now, you can run this, tighten this all up and shit. Not necessary. If you want to, you can 
mount that to the wall. You get the wire plugged into the wall. You got the 12, you got, you know, this is not gonna shock you, shock you, but if you put your hand on it, it it's like a bat battery, low voltage. So the wires just picked the hell over. Now what you can do is you could set it up higher, you know, so nobody can reach it, but I'm the only one living there, so right there is just fine for me because I've got plenty of access cord and that's the reason why that's so long. So I can technically move it up higher, but that's the uh, easiest way to do it, man. So if you don't want to do it this way, the other way you, you can move it up high, mount this to the door and have it come down. But if you don't want this, I, I this is cool with me. I, I don't want to get any get pants on this. The other thing you can do is on one of the, and drill a hole through here in the corner at an angle and it'll come out on this door trim on the other side of the door. And then you mount the, let's say this for instance, this is your uh, doorbell, you can mount it. You can mount it like this on the door trim and that will give you your doorbell, except for being on this side, you put it on this side. You know what I mean? I did it over here because my outlet is right there. I mean, there is an outlet on this side, but on the outside of the door, I'll show you what it looks like out there. Well, that looks, looks like that. But I also could mount it right here, run the wire through the trim, put that box, that electrical box on the other side of the wall. That way is because the box would have been right here, you know, and I like kind of weird sh things like this. I'll show you. It's just an old freaking nappy ass garage door or garage window. It's actually sitting on its side instead of being this way, it's this way. That's how I, I just put a mount on it. I mean, it's got chip paint on it and everything. And I just took a Christmas light, ran it around it and plugged it in. You know, it's just little stuff like that. It just makes life different you know what i mean air conditioning line set it's got the old filter dryer on it see it's all dusty and nasty but anyways it's around my thermostat i just put a screw in the wall and mount, hung it up it's see i like rust or uh things like this i just think it looks neat so that's the reason why i did my doorbell like that so when you're, you you can do that however you want to i'm just this is just a way to show you how you can supply a power source for a ring doorbell without having a doorbell because not everybody's got that in apartments you have to get those well not you always almost always have to get the, the remote ones where their battery we got to charge them back up well, those things cost like 150 bucks i got my ring doorbell for i think it was like 40 bucks or something like that two christmases ago they were just giving them away basically so i got one um you know so so on putting it on the trim on the outside you'll have to get a long drill bit because you want to be able to drill straight through you just go at a slight angle so that you're going through the trim on the outside and you're going to come out in the drywall on the other side um <clears throat> and that way you're just a straight shot you can leave the drill bit in there take a piece of thermostat wiring you know tape it to the end and pull it back through you know I, I did that at my last unit. I just drilled a hole right through the trim, ran wire right through the trim. The other thing is you gotta be mindful of putting it on the light switch side is that there's a lot of power right there. So you gotta be careful about drilling a hole through the wire because if you live in an apartment, man, <laughs> you mess that up, you're gonna have to explain yourself and you might have to pay for damages. That's the reason why I went through, also on mine, I went through the, the doorbell because, or the old chime doorbell, it, it, it was gone. You know, and I just, like I said, I like cool stuff like that. It's just kind of really weird stuff. I'll show you my uh, lamp over in the corner. Just like with the window and uh, the HVAC line around the thermostat, I just did Christmas lights, just to kind of make this thing look neater. I just ran some Christmas lights up over it that I found in an apartment. And then each one of these bulbs is different. Um, that's pink. That's a fire bulb and that's a multi-color bulb. I can actually use my cell phone and turn that to another color. So it's just neat little stuff like that. 
Hope you enjoyed that, man. If you have any questions, put that, let me know.